In the name of the Father, Son, and of the Holy Spirit, may the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ to be with you all. Dear friends, you are watching Philokalia London Reflection of 2019, episode number 14. And last few episodes, we meditated about the Word of God. You know, when we have trouble and crisis and destructions and sickness, God sends his word to deliver us and to rescue us from our trouble. And the word of God is a seed and word of God is all powerful. And when you listen to the word of God, the spirit of God also fell upon us. And we, we learned many things about the word of God. And then at the end, we learned how to get the word of God daily. And we learned about 15 minute prayer of the day early morning when you get up. 10 minute reading Bible and then 5 minute meditating and the answers should be recorded in a notebook. That's what we meditated so far from the day 1 till day 13. And today I am going to explain to you once if you get the word of God, how to apply it in your life and how to uh, work the word of God or how to make the word of God to work in your life and how to plant it, let it produce fruit in your life. One of my experience, one lady, her husband passed away very recently and she has two kids and it was a real struggle for her to bring the children up. And you know what she did? She began, uh, she opened a small shop in her hometown, a cloth shop. She used to buy the clothes from Bangalore and Delhi, etc. And she, with the wholesale price, she bring it and she sell it here. But in her hometown, her boutique was very first one and very accepted one and many people began to come and a lot of business and a lot of money. Of course, by saying this, some people felt jealousy and they also thought this is a good scope. Why can't we also do the same shop? And a non-Christian bought a shop nearby with the same materials and, you know, same idea. And slowly that non-Christian's business began to flourish like an anything and this lady lost everything one by one, one by one. And definitely when you lose everything, you go to Imams, you go to Pujaris, you go to churches. So she also went many places asking prayer, asking prayer, asking prayer. And somebody told her that that non-Christian did black, black magic upon your business. That's why you are getting destruction in your business. So you have to do many prayers and many services, etc. And that man was guiding her, guiding her. She spent a lot of money for her there and here, there and here, but nothing worked out. And someone told her that Mr. Mario Joseph is from Islamic background. So he may be knowing about this black magic and he may be knowing how to remove the black magic. You go and meet. That's how this lady came one day for Philokalia Rutit. And while I was speaking to her, I said, sorry, sister, I don't believe in black magic. She said, no, 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 no. I was doing very well, but something is wrong with me now. So you must help me. Something is wrong with me. Please help me. And I told her uh, the book of Job chapter 3 verses 26 where the Job says what I have feared that fell on me. And I told her sister you are afraid of black magic. That's why you have all problem. You just come out of that thought. Why you are thinking negative. God is with you. God is in you. Don't worry. Everything I said but she is not understanding. What can I do now? After a few minutes of prayer. I give her a word from Bible that is from Micah chapter 5 verses 12. Micah chapter 5 verses 12. Let me read it for you, my brother and my sister. And I will cut off sorcery from your hand and you shall have no more soothsayers in your land. And I told her, God says that he will cut off the sorcery and black magic from your business. And she said, I know that, but how? I said, you do one thing. Just memorize this word. Look this word, touch this word, read this word, hear this word, memorize this word. That's how you are receiving this medicine, biblical medicine in your life. And after memorizing every after breakfast, after lunch, after dinner, please say thanks to, you, thanks to the Lord saying that, God, I thank you because According to Micah 512, you remove the black magic from my business, from my family, from my life. And she keeps saying that every day. You know what happened? This word of God was like a seed. It planted from her conscious mind 
and it went into the subconscious mind and it produced the fruit within few months her business began to flourish again and again again and again and now she has many branches of the same shop my brothers and sisters this is how the word of god works in your life when you have problem you please pray and ask the lord to send the word and it may be there already in your mind or it may be there in the bible but you will have to find it out if you keep reading bible as i have told you like 15 minute a day 10 minute reading and 5 minute meditation you know what happens if you continue like that for few months already the word of god will be in you and that will be like a shield and that works for you very often when you are in trouble in one of the video earlier i mentioned that you know you go to a river bank river will be very silent you don't see anything but sometime a fish comes up to take the water pop it comes up and goes the same way if you keep lot of words in your heart in your mind that remain silent but when you are in trouble some word comes up pop it comes and goes which means god already sent that word and it is a spoken word and that will deliver you that's why i say you please hold on bible and read it every day don't feel shy satan is very cunning and he doesn't want you to read the word of god you you can read newspaper from morning till evening you can read lot of novels you can read anything but when you touch the bible you feel very drowsy you feel very gloomy you you feel very tired and you feel you don't need to read and when you read one paragraph of itself you are happy okay okay i did my work today that's enough for me some have some difficulty to this word of god why that itself shows that it is powerful and satan is enemy and satan is blocking you my brothers and sisters take a challenge and read every day 15 minute and accumulate the word of god or accept the word of god in you as much as you can and that word will be like a shield when you are in trouble that comes up to save you to deliver you from your problems may almighty god bless you and peace be 